Welcome to this video on the review and explanation of the 10 most famous works of Camille Pissarro. Camille Pissarro was a Danish-French Impressionist and Neo-Impressionist painter. He was born on the island of St. Thomas in 1830 and died in France in 1903. He is considered one of the most important figures in the development of Impressionism and was a member of the Impressionist group that exhibited together in the 1870s and 1880s. Pissarro's work is known for its use of vibrant colors, loose brush strokes, and attention to the effects of light and atmosphere. He is also known for his interest in capturing everyday life and landscapes in his paintings. Pissarro's work had a significant influence on the development of modern art, particularly on the work of Paul Cezanne and the Fauvist movement. The 10 most famous works Camille Pissarro are 1. Two Women Chatting by the Sea is a painting by the Impressionist artist Camille Pissarro. The painting depicts two women having a conversation on a beach, with the sea and sky in the background. Pissarro is known for his use of vibrant colors and loose brush strokes, which can be seen in this painting. It is not clear when this painting was created, but it is part of Pissarro's series of beach scenes. 2. The Harvest This painting is set on Pissarro's family farm in Pontoise, and depicts a group of farmers working in the fields. The use of bright colors and loose brush strokes gives the painting a sense of movement and liveliness. 3. The Hermitage at Pontoise This painting is another example of Pissarro's ability to capture the effects of light on the landscape. The painting shows the Hermitage, a small chapel near Pissarro's home, set against a backdrop of trees and fields. 4. The Garden of the Tuileries On a winter afternoon, Pissarro rented a large apartment at 204 Rue de Rivoli in Paris for the first half of 1899. From its windows facing the Jardin des Tuileries, he painted six views of the garden, in which the twin steeples of the Church of St. Claude punctuate the vast expanse of sky, attentive to changes in light, atmosphere, and climate, as well as to the comings and goings of strollers. At different times of day and seasons of the year, Pissarro was able to extract a variety of pictures from a single site. 5. Haystacks, Morning. Eragni made the same year as Pissarro's bird's eye views of the Jardin des Tuileries in Paris. This idyllic scene of a meadow near the artist's home in rural Aragni is a counterpoint to his paintings of modern urban life. Pissarro depicted the same trio of haystacks, seen from a slightly different vantage point, and under afternoon rather than morning light, a practice recalling Monet's haystacks series of the early 1890s. 6. The Garden of the Tuileries On a spring morning this picture, like the two winter views of the Jardin des Tuileries by Pissarro in the museum's collection, belongs to a series that he painted from his apartment in the Rue de Rivoli in 1899. Here, spring has arrived. Underneath the blooming trees and soft blue sky, a woman can be seen at lower center, pushing a brightly attired baby in a carriage. Having sold a number of the scenes to his dealer Durandriul, later that year Pissarro rented the same apartment and executed another 14 works. 7. Still life with apples and pitcher unlike Monet, Renoir, Cezanne, and other artists in his circle, Pissarro painted few still lifes, most late in his career. This work of 1872 is, therefore, exceptional for its subject, as well as for its clearly expressed forms and subtle manipulation of light. There is only one other comparable painting by the artist, apples and pears in a round basket of the same year, which is identical in size and setting to the present canvas, featuring the same floral pattern wallpaper in the background. 8. Steamboats in the Port of Rouen on January 20, 1896, when Pissarro arrived for his second extended stay in Rouen. He was already enraptured by the beautiful motifs of the keys, which will make famous paintings. This is one of several views of the busy port that he painted from the window of his room at the Hotel de Paris. Across the river in the background may be seen the wharves and warehouses of the working class St. Sever district. 9. Bather in the woods in summer Pissarro wrote his son Lucian that he was planning a series of canvases of nude peasant women bathing, even though he foresaw difficulties in engaging models in rural Aragni. None were completed until 1894, and Pissarro continued to paint variations on the theme through 1896. This picture falls midway in the project. Pissarro's approach reflects the continuing influence of divisionist technique, but more naturalistic tendencies emerge in his attempts to capture the delicate fall of light over the grassy bank and the woman's back. Her pose recurs in two studies of a clothed model painted the same year. 10. The Public Garden at Pontoise Pissarro's paintings of the mid 1870s are largely devoted to the fields and roads near his home in Pontoise. Here, he turned
turn to a more urban subject of the type favored by colleagues such as Monet and Renoir, the town's public garden. The view across the Montmorency Plain toward Paris may be glimpsed at left, beyond the spire of Pontoise's Notre Dame Church. But rather than emphasizing the vista, Pissarro focused on the park's terraces, populated by well-dressed bourgeois and their children. He exhibited a similar scene, painted the year previously at the first Impressionist exhibition in 1874. 